So let's go to the method evaluating concept. So um, whenever uh, whenever we are writing, uh, we are creating a method, we know that there's something called like class package, something like that. So there is a class body. There is a method body. These are methods, individual methods are there inside the class, right? So when we are working in main method, we are working here. When we, when you're working in other methods, we work here. Other method will be same types of creating, taking same type of space inside our class, right? So suppose let me create a method of the void A. So this is our um, overloading concept. Uh, let me tell you. Now, this is the first method A. First A method. And now, suppose I have printed here something like this is first A method. Now, there was a restriction in Java that you cannot create a method with the same name and same input parameter so so now if i want to write public void a again and i want to create the method i want to print something like this is the second a method so java is telling me that okay you are not allowed to do that. You cannot create same types of box variables inside a method and inside a class you cannot create same types of method. So now it is my second a method. How will I, how can I write it? Suppose I want to do the same thing again. I want to create another method with the same name. Second, the third day method, right? Third day method. So how will I do that? So at first, before doing that, it can come in your mind. Why are we doing this stuff? I don't need to do that. I can create so many things. I can create. I can create other names as well. Why do I need to overload method? So okay, sometimes a thing. Suppose a salary. Let's make it salary make it salary here as well let's make it salary here as well so you are creating same method with the same name but uh, it should change according to the situation and person suppose that's a, that's the assumption like you have to calculate different methods in different or you have to execute different salary system different salary codes for different persons but you don't know want to you don't want to write salary one salary two something like that so suppose in that case how can we do that thing like how can we write the method same name uh, with the same name but we can uh, we can overload it so one way is first way is changing the input parameter number right So if I write here in three method, see how many improved parameters are there? Zero. That's why it is not allowing me. So if I write here INPX, now one I've added one input parameter and it is allowing me, allowing me to do it. It is different from this and this one. Now if I write INTX here, will it allow me? Yes, it is different from this one. That's why the error has gone from this one, but it is not different from this one, right? So this uh, this this input parameter is same. 
So now, if I want to, if I can write into y, now the number of input parameter has been changed, like right? 0, 1, to i and d type. So one way of method over here we are doing method overloading. Overloading is nothing, guys. Just the method name will be same. Just method name will be same. Can you write the uh, can you duplicate methods with the same name in a sing, in a single class? Then it will call it will be called method overloading. So how this is the way how we can do that. So we can overload method by increasing the uh, increasing the input parameters number from one another or making difference okay so something like that okay, then another way you were you were saying that okay i don't want to do that so what you can do suppose this int now i can do something like okay let's make it a string now it is allowing it same number like one input parameter here one input parameter here if you want to write char c one input parameter here every number is same same number of parameters are in them but data type is changed so we can overload method by changing data type nice so uh, you can uh, you can now uh, tweak with this thing like if you want to write here intx string y now if i want to write here as well intx string z okay so let's make it q so still it is not allowing me why because the formation is same one int one string and as we told already that java or jvm is reading from left to right when he reads this he, when he's reading this method he's seeing that int is first string is second and here when he's seeing this matter i mean the third method is again he's seeing the same thing int first string second so he's saying that okay you cannot do this you have to make some variance you have to make some change so what we can do here if we tweak it i mean it is not possible as well i'm just meaning that if the data type formation if the if the formation of data type and formation of uh, input parameters are same the number is same and the formation is same it is not going to allow you to store values or uh, store, uh, use that methods it will give you an error so if you write now see string q and intz now see now it is allowing why because when java is reading it it is getting int at first then it is getting a string but when reading this he is getting a string at first then it is then he is getting int he is not thinking like okay there is two parameter and there is two parameter as well so what's wrong it should be it should give an error no he is reading from left to right he is watching int here at first he is watching his string here at first here the difference has come so it is different from each one so when we write when we, we when we duplicate methods with the same name we call it method overloading guys clear till now